All right, I'm here with Terry. We're just doing a heads up approach today because he's excited to show you guys the, the full effect in the upcoming weeks. First week, tell us a little bit about your results back in the gym. Uh, when I started back, I was just under 96 kilos and I weighed myself again this just before and I'm at 90.3. Woo! So four days? And tell us a little bit about what you did this week with regards to nutrition. Uh, just took away all my junk food that I would normally, all you guys always see me eating. So just eating chicken and veggies and just drinking water. Yeah, tons of water. Yep. Um, he's He's been able to get his health type, what's best for him, and he's been sticking to it. What have you found, what's been able to make that move into healthier eating? What, what helped you get there? Just talking to the guys that um, eat healthy, everything like that, listening to old pops down there. And they're just asking for help and advice and actually sticking to it for once. Yeah, amazing. What's your goal over the next six weeks? Uh, to get to at least 80 kilo. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And how long has it been since you've been in the gym? Nah, uh, coming about a year and a half. Year and a half? And so you, you haven't been in the gym for a year and a half. Before that, were you training often? No. Okay, just sporadic? Yeah. Is, is this the first time that you've been consistent back in the gym? And Pretty how much, long yeah. would you say? Uh, you know, probably the, the two years or so, this has been every day. Yeah, awesome. Very cool. Anything else you'd like to add to the guys? Just get in there and do it. It's free. Got good PTs here, so why not? Doesn't hurt. What do you think of the setup? Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah Even awesome. better since last night. Yeah, wicked. Great. Thanks so much. No worries. Enjoy your day. You too. Thanks, Terry. Here we are. Pops is touching his toes. When was the last time you were able to touch your toes? 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Tell us a little bit about your story in the gym so far in the first couple weeks. Um, I find I've got stronger. I'm getting a little bit fitter. I've lost 20 kilos in six months and I feel 100% just what I've learned. And uh, stuff is helping heaps for my age. This bloke is nearly 61. Wow, and you find that the coaches' strength training programs that are they're oh, giving you, you great, great, and is that making a key difference? It's for making you? a heap of difference because normally if you go to a gym where there's 400 people in it, they just go yeah do that and they walk off. Yeah, and you yeah. don't really know if you're doing it wrong or right or so. This way you get one on one and it's perfect. Yeah, you learn awesome. you learn to do it the right way, not the wrong way. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. And what about your eating nutrition? Everything's all changed. I don't have any fat food or sugar or salt for probably six months. Awesome. I, 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 I'm sleeping better. Sleeping better. You're, you were mentioning the other day that you feel a lot more energized. A lot more energy. I feel, I, I feel different in, in my body. Yeah, awesome. Even at work, you were saying. Yeah, I'm doing things I normally couldn't, didn't do or I did, but it hurts. So wow. I'm doing things that are 100% better. And the last time that you were in, a, in the gym was over 20 years ago? 30, 35 years ago. 35 years ago. Wow, thanks Pops. You are an inspiration to everybody out on site. Keep it going. He's been in every day since we've opened. He has not missed a day and we even uh, named our workout of the day after him uh, earlier this week. So you guys need to get in here. Get in the gym. Woo! Thanks, Pops. All right, I'm just here with Nat. She's gotten back into the gym. We were just discussing how uh, the, the process that she's gone through coming into the gym on site and uh, how important it is to have that initial coaching session. So um, where do we start? So what assisted you getting back into the gym on site? Um, definitely having the one-on-one -on -one time, being able to talk to you guys um, and understand sort of a program that would work best for my body and the condition that it's in at the moment. Yeah. Um, against sort of medical conditions and everything like that was a huge thing for me. Um, I had a gym membership with um, a gym just up the road from me. Um, I had barely any contact from any of the reps there and yeah. I'd only been a few times. I didn't really understand the equipment, didn't know what to do. Standard so story I, I here, barely, isn't it? Just, I barely went. Like my normal gist was to go in and just jump straight on the treadmill and yeah. just do and that's that it. kind of stuff and yeah. that was it. Whereas here, I've had that one on time with Shana and you being in there as well and actually understanding what sort of physical movements and what equipment works best for my body. That's been absolutely amazing. So 
in like the last two weeks I've been four times and that's a massive improvement on previous like the previous year really. Yeah, so, yeah awesome. It's really good. Um what about the nutrition component leading up as well? Huge impact. Like there was things that around the nutrition where I was still eating thinking that it was healthy for my body. Um mm -hmm. and just it honestly wasn't. So yep. yeah, yeah, it was a Good way to see different things. Um, there was already stuff that I'd moved over to because of my health conditions, um, eating lots of greens and things like that. So yep, being able you're to on know the verge that, yeah, that, so that yep. was all good for my body and keep moving with that. That was awesome. Yeah, so good. That, that was a good move for my body as well as for the medical conditions and everything like that. So awesome. That was great. So the apps definitely um, playing a role in looking at things that I should eat and shouldn't eat and things like that. So that's been great. Um, haven't dived too deep into the recipes yet, but I'm very keen to see how that will flow. Like, yeah, yeah, awesome. Great. And stretching. I noticed you've been doing a bit of stretching yeah. at the end of each session. How are you feeling around that? Yeah, good. There's um, probably technique is still something I need to work on and understand how yeah. that sort of that extra stretch will work. Um, certain parts of my body where I didn't ever think there were muscles. I'm, I'm, I'm finding <laughs> She's that doing there some are. like foam rolling. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's been very interesting. Some some stretches that are, are probably a lot tighter than they definitely should be. So yeah, true. Yeah, some of those muscles just have not moved in a long time. So it's been good. It's nice to know that I am a bit more flexible than I probably thought I was, and yeah, start to get that movement and stuff going again. And what about the comfortability stepping into the gym once you knew the coach? And, and that's oh, massively comfortable. Being able to go in there with um, workmates and with you guys there has actually um, completely flipped for me because at first I was concerned because these are people that I work with every day. I wasn't sure about them seeing me in the like, gym, in gym doing, doing, doing that yeah. kind of stuff. And I'm so comfortable now. We all just egg each other on and it's um, checking in. And um, now it's not a matter of, oh, is someone looking at me? It's a matter of, oh, what are you doing over there that I can sort of try out? Yeah, kind of nice. So it's been really cool and it's just comfortable. Like normal gyms, you go in there and you just avoid eye contact because you don't want somebody staring at you and you don't want to feel like you're watching someone else. And yeah. it's just, yeah, it's just for me, it was quite uncomfortable like going to the normal gym that I do. Mm -hmm. to, so, yeah. And were you like, do you think you would even be using that other gym? No, so? I'm, as um, soon as my, um, plans up it's it's going it's completely gone so yeah. um i'm using this gym here much more than i was ever using that gym so yeah, it's a huge switch and it's gonna happen so hey thank you nat to all you ladies out there get in the gym nat's up first first two weeks she's yeah. already smashing it Awesome. Hey, hey Thanks, I'm guys. here with the beautiful Janice. <laughs> she has been in the gym training like a mad woman since it's opened. When was the last time you were training before the gym opened downstairs? Uh, it's probably three years ago, but that was just purely walking around a um, lake at a fast pace, not actually right, training. But the lake, so the lake that you're talking never about. Never been yep. in a gym in my entire life. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So this is the first time she's getting into the gym mm -hmm. in her entire life. Tell us a little bit about how you came to get into the gym. What was the process? Um, okay, well obviously with the company implementing the gym, um, I was looking to improve um, my fitness, my health, my eating and that. So it came at a great time for me that the company was looking at implementing this. Yeah, great. Um, so um, having that opportunity, um, it was perfect timing. Perfect for timing. Yeah. And then um, having the initial coaching session, mm -hmm. what did that do for you for stepping into the gym? Um, it gave me an idea of not being too frightened to step into the gym. When you first went in, the lights were off. Yes. And it was, you know, you went in, you get, went, no. not, not for me. <laughs> and then the next day you went in and Sharna and myself were there yep. and you were like, okay, I can do this. Yep. How did that, how did the coach on site impact you actually taping that? That step? made me so comfortable with actually starting the process because my fears were with the people that I was working with, that they were going to see me looking, um, um, not at my best and, and and it was more of a mindset of myself not comfortable within my own body and the way I looked and whether I looked stupid trying to figure out the machinery so having Shana and yourself on site at the time was helping us use that equipment um, and distracting my mind from worrying about 
who was around me yeah um and focusing on what i needed to do so yep, the gym became very comfortable quickly for me yeah excellent yeah. excellent yeah. and how have you felt ongoing with regards to training downstairs have you felt comfortable now absolutely comfortable i'm not worried about who's walking in there now um i know that i just need to focus on myself and i know that i can talk to either yourself or shana whoever's on site at the time or even email you and um any questions and that you know i'm getting the answers i need to hear and it's no longer daunting for me to put my health first and and, and the use the gym Beautiful. without being scared of doing it wrong. And how important has the personalized program been to you? Uh, really important, I think, because I think it would have been very easy for me to back off and say, I'm... Yeah, I need something special for me. I've got yep. a few different contraindications, which yep. is, you know, the same with 90% of the people on site. We've all yep. got these little different peccadillos we need to train around. Yep. Um, what about the nutrition side of things? Um, I'll be honest with the nutrition side of it. I, I still find that a bit daunting to look at. And, and it, because I'm sort of trying to get myself into a routine of saying, you've got to go to the gym, you've got to do this. I'm trying to focus on just eating healthier of right. how I understand to eat healthier. Yeah, beautiful. Um, get myself into a routine of using the gym and then start looking into more the into the yeah yeah and you mentioned you've been start you've been looking at some of the recipes i have, have yeah, yes awesome. so i've spoken to shana this week's been sort of the week that i've sort of felt okay let's start asking a bit more about some of these recipes awesome so yeah um might start yeah. taking advantage of that soon correct yeah absolutely will be yeah great absolutely. and that could rep you know ricochet or uh, also affect jordan at home Absolutely, and I'm really hope, hoping that that will be the case for him too. Because, yeah. you know, obviously he's got to make those choices himself. He knows what I'm going to be making at home, and, you know, hopefully he'll start making a choice of eating Eating that healthy same. too. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. For the women over um, on the Auckland site, what would mm -hmm. you say to them uh, with regards to stepping into the gym for the first time? What's um, your best piece of advice? My best piece of advice is, is to talk to each other. Um, you know, don't be afraid to say that you're afraid of how you look and, or what you look like. Um, and use each other as support if, if necessary. I mean, Natalie and I have worked closely together. We, uh, it works out for us that we go into the gym at similar times. So we help support each other going forward. Um, uh, give it a go before you, you know, change your mind or not give it the opportunity because um, I'm starting to benefit from it and hopefully, um, you know, in a few months time, I'll be showing some of those benefits within my day-to-day -day, um, life. How are you feeling already? Um, I'm certainly feeling better. I'm, I'm feeling more confident. Um, I'm certainly not feeling as sore as the first week. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> so yeah, the dance isn't as bad this week. Good. Yep. We definitely kicked her off with a yeah. workout session it initially, was. but uh, she's flying now in the gym. Yes, I am. I, I'm, I'm more confident in the equipment I'm using and what I'm doing. And I know um, if um, Shana or yourself are not there, um, I now know what I can do I, I, um, within the gym to, to do a workout and if there's anything I want to add to it, you guys are on hand to offer that to me. We so are. go for it girls. Go for it. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. We're just with Jordan. He's doing his pull exercises and I just wanted you guys to see which ones he's doing. So we've got the two resistance bands hooked up and we can progress that as well. He's just finished his last set of bench, so he's smashing it out on the bench press. Once he's done 20 of those, we get into the Camagon, and he's gonna do core and arms. Good, three more. Two. And one, awesome. Drop him up. That's fine, you can release him. And he's right into the Camagon, so he's putting his arms straight out in front. Yep, nice. Perfect. Nice, Jordan. 